Oh, welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday, Texas. Welcome to the Connect Show. So excited to be here with you. And of course, ladies, as you know, we like to get all the way into it as we talk about just bossing and business and visiting with so many good, smart, intelligent people today. So I'm excited. Hey, Wendy. Hi, Michelle. Hey, everyone. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to get into the show as well. It's going to be so it's gonna fun. Be yeah, good, yeah. Uh, good morning. Happy Saturday. And let's do this, ladies. Hot topic for Saturday. And it's it's about blended families. And I know we've had a lot of conversations about this in the past, but there was an interesting topic that got brought up. And I'm interested in hearing what both of you, you women think. Um, and we're talking about finding or learning later after you're married, after you're in the relationship for, you know, the devoted amount of time, you're learning that the the spouse, the partner actually has another child um, from another relationship. Maybe they're finding out later too. Hey, possibly not, not knowing all along. How would you be able to move forward? Would you be able to, would that be a deal breaker for either of you? Um, I think so. So my mom has this saying, um, it's in Spanish, of course, and it say, lo, says, and what it is, is lo que no fue en tu año, no te hace daño. And mm. so what that means is, you know, anything that happened prior to you, I think with, you know, a very strong relationship, you know, when it comes to issues like this or topics like this, um, as long as there's a good grounded, you know, and strong relationship in the marriage, I think you could work through it and be welcoming and accepting to um, another child because, you know, it was prior to your time. Your with, you know, and, you and know, then after you work through it to, you know, also bring it up, you know, to the rest of the family. And yeah, I think, I, I think me personally, I would be welcoming to, you know, um, if this were to happen to our family and I would, you know, walk and hold my hand, my husband's hand through the whole process and figure out where we go from there to make it a great, you know, and a positive thing. How about you, Michelle? How would you you get through something like that? First off, I love when you share your mother's wisdom. That Mm -hmm. just blesses my heart so much. I I just love it so much. Um, And I really agree. I think it's circumstantial as far as I think that, you know, let's put it in two different ways. If your husband knew previously that he had a child and he kept it from you, I think that that would be a marital thing that you'd have to work through together. But I think no matter what, if you find out another child is involved, then I completely agree with you, Wendy, that you open your arms, welcome them in, because this is such a confusing, um, exciting, um, wonderful announcement and discovery, because no matter what, a child is a blessing, no matter if they're from the past or if they're you know, if you're adopting, it's just having that adoptive spirit and heart because every child needs love and we um, don't have the right to withhold that from any child because it's not their fault. And it's it's just, we should look at it as a blessing. And mm. move forward. you're so right, Wendy, hand in hand, bringing this child in and just making them feel so welcome and loved and that they're more than enough and they're not forgotten. They weren't a mistake and just really pouring the truth in to who they are as well. I love it, Michelle, so good, both of your perspectives. And I can't wait to get into even more hot topics today. Uh, The women we are bringing to the table are on fire. I'm excited. Yes, so before we go to break though, Natalie, it's not, I'd like to say it's not just about beauty, it's also about brains. So let's check out today's book of the week and it's titled, To Be Obsessed or Be Average. One Executive Suites is Midland's premier co-working space that meets the professional workspace needs of freelancers, travel for business, or professionals that work from home. Co-working is an inspiring working environment that saves members with its cost sharing. We also have different membership options available. High-speed internet and free parking too. One is the place to work hard and dream big.
Well, welcome back to the Connect Show, Texas. So I'm excited for our next guest. She she does so many things. She's all about simplifying, right? Simplifying life for busy moms, focusing on mindset and time management, really all of the things I need help with, simple habits. Please help me welcome Dr. Jennifer Blossom to the show. Hi. Hey, Dr. Jennifer, welcome. Hey, ladies. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, we are so excited you're you're here. And as an occupational therapist by trade, you are now helping moms simplify their life, pare down to the essentials. What inspired you to expand your business in this way? I love it. This is what we need. Oh, girl, it is so <laughs> what we need. And I feel like we are in such a point right now in society where moms are inundated with this message that we have to do it all, right? We've got to be the boss and have only organic meals and have a clean house and kids that always listen. And the result that we're seeing is there's this big trend in this hot mess mom movement. movement. And so what we're seeing is moms are having wine at 11 o'clock and having clutter and overwhelm from top to bottom. And it's just like all of these things coming all at once. And we, we don't even know how to show up and be present. So instead of the extremes, right, instead of being so overwhelmed and we're this hot mess or striving for perfection, I come in as the radical middle to help mm. moms show up confidently to who they are, who they're truly at their core and create a meaningful motherhood, not only for themselves, but also for their kiddos. Ah, oh, so good. We need a mom boss right here on the Connection Girl. because most of our viewers, our friends, those watching this yeah. show are moms that are entrepreneurs or yeah. executives or trying to transition out of just being mom, but they're so stuck with guilt and all of the other things that they don't push forward. Talk about knowing your season, because I think that's where kind of this hits home. What do you mean by that? Know your season. Knowing your season, yeah, it's so important because we can go through motherhood trying to make things work like they like they did when our kids were toddlers or newborns. But as yeah. we go throughout different seasons, it requires different levels of focus for us. And an analogy that I love to use is like a kayak. So if, if you can think about mm. life looking like this long windy river, right? And you're kayaking down this river. And if this river has a turn, which it will, sometimes you gotta lean your and shift your body weight over to that corner and then back into center. And the same thing goes for your life, right? When you think about what season you're in, some things require you to shift your priorities and lean in a little more. So you might be in a, a work heavy season. So that requires your more focus and efforts at work. And you are relying more on things like delegation and asking for help in other areas of your life, childcare, house cleaning, whatever it is. You yeah. might be in a family heavy season. If you were in the newborn season, I'm just coming out of that for the second time. And in that season, I had to back off work a little bit and lean into my little kids. And so it's yeah. learning how to assess that self-awareness of what season you are in and knowing that the balance comes from a bigger scale, season by season, not day by day. So lean into it and ask for help with the areas that you can't be fully present in and then reevaluate because we're always ebb and flowing through different seasons. So it all starts with that self-awareness, knowing your season and taking action. So, so good, Dr. Blossom. So happy I found you. Your name fits perfect. You're helping moms blossom and grow. Thank you so much for being with us today. And you guys, don't forget to grab her offer, the Being Present and Productive Guide on her website. How to be present to get all of your stuff done. It's time for a quick break. We will be checking out Kat's weekly tech tip as well. We'll be right back. Good morning, and I hope everyone is having a wonderful 4th of July weekend. So today I wanna to take a moment to talk to you about SaaS and why your business wants to look into SaaS as an option for your software. So SaaS basically means software as a service. That's its actual definition. But really when you wanna break it down, it's a method of software delivery where all you have to have is a device and an internet connection. There's four reasons my clients usually pick SaaS as an option. And reason number one is cost. Going with SaaS, you're gonna save any of the upfront fees as well as maintenance fees. Number two is time. You know, people say time is money and thankfully with SaaS, 
you can save on both. And the other thing is compatibility. With conventional software installation methods, updates can require enormous amounts of time and money. And even worse, there can be version discrepancies within your own organization that can lead to issues. So basically, when you think about getting sassy with SaaS, you know, think it has a lot to offer. If it's properly used, it can help your business save money, time, and human resources. Hey, beautiful people, it's Major Mr. This is why I love you. And you are watching the Connect Network TV. Well, welcome back to the Connect Show, Texas. Yes, beautiful people, our next guest. She has two companies. Um, she's worked with Venus Williams. Yes, like Serena's sister. And Nike, Adidas, so many other big brands. And if you have a pet or you're a pet lover, she's like your new best friend. Are y'all ready? Please help me welcome Barbara Ruiz Clark of Lick You Silly. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey okay, girlfriend. <laughs> and it's Hi, Barbara, Barbara Clark Ruiz. Oh, let's get that all the way right. Okay, Barbara Clark Ruiz. And yes, yes go Google her. Go Google her. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Barbara, we're so happy to have you with us today, especially all us that have those little fur babies. And so you have a Lick You Silly, and this started all because your dog, is this correct, couldn't eat the store-bought treats? <laughs> Can you tell that us about correct. that? Okay. Yeah, so it's it started, now it's been four years, but it started about four years ago because my dogs couldn't eat store-bought treats. Now my dogs are like, they were four pounds and six pounds, and so whenever they ate it, they would throw up. So mm -hmm. I would bake their treats, and I just kind of had this idea in my head, you know, hey, one day I'm gonna start a dog treat company. And uh, so, you know, while I was working with Venus, you know, she had a interior design company. She played tennis. She had 11. And I'm like, how do you do all of that? She was like, well, Barb, you just surround yourself by smart people. And I'm like, oh, really? So <laughs> that's it. Um, Step one. <laughs> so I said, I'm thinking about starting a dog treat company. She said, like, you should do it. And, I'm, and so I did. I started doing the homework and because I didn't know anything about dog treats other than opening a bag. And I just knew it wasn't going to be sustainable with me baking the treats. So I wanted to get myself a partner that would work with me. And I and I went on the search to find the best possible uh, freeze dry uh, beef liver and chicken liver dog treat that I could possibly find. And I found it. Mm. And the company was willing to work with me as a startup, which was awesome. And I did a lot of testing and designed the packaging. My daughter actually designed the little orange dog <laughs> here on my packaging. and. Um, and then the rest is history. Yes, you're right. one of the central sought after brands. And it's so incredible for other brands wanting to be one of those top central products. What advice can you give to those business ladies or those families wanting to start a business? Well, I will first look at what's your passion. And then from, you know, what is your passion? Just determine, like, there are some categories of products that just sell well on Amazon. Like the pet pro product category just happens to be one of their largest. You know, uh, homewares is, is a large one. Baby is a large one. Like there are certain categories that just product tends to turn faster, but you just have to figure out, like, how are you going to position that product and how are you going to speak to the consumer in a different way than a competitor might? And then you go on Alibaba and you develop that product and you try to make it really special to you to whatever your brand is. And, you know, you negotiate your prices and you test it first. You know, with Alibaba, you, you get your samples before you do your production. You can't bypass that step. Um, mm. And you do a lot of testing and then you, you know, you hit social media in a way that you probably never approached social media before. You know, you run your ads and... You connect with, you know, influence, micro influencers who tend to be a little bit more affordable. And, you know, uh, I just tried a lot of different avenues. We're so happy that you're here with us today. I know we talked about where you've been, where you sell, but can you um, tell our, our audience um, where they can find you? Once, you know, so you can, you can purchase our products on Amazon, Licky Silly Pet Products. Um, we have a beef liver and a chicken liver there. And you can also go to our website, which is Licky Silly. 
yumyum.com. And uh, you can find us on, uh, sorry, our website is wickyoussillypetproducts.com. Our Instagram is wickyoussillyyumyum, which people can contact me there, or you can contact me on my on my own Instagram, Barbara Clark Ruiz. And of course, there's my design website, wickyswirl.com. So incredible. <laughs> uh, I know that all of us, you know, we can find your products. We have two dogs as well, and I know they're gonna love what you created. So thank you for being on the show. And our to our audience, you guys don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Hey everyone, my name is Belinda. I'm a busy mom from a small town in West Texas. I wear many hats throughout my day, from mom, wife, CFO, and having my own YouTube channel. Pretty much anything thrown my way, I'll give it a try. I share a ton of different tips over on my YouTube, from cooking, cleaning, and organizing your home, to all things mom. I would love to share all this with you. Find me over on all of my socials for the latest, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel under Belinda & Co. Well, welcome back, Texas. So our next guest is a woman that took things into her own hands. You know, Mary Kay always says, um, if you want something done, you don't, you don't depend on everyone else. You just, you got to take the bull by the horn. And that's what founder of But A Dream did. Help me welcome Alyssa Jordan to the show. Hi. Hey, Alyssa, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the warm welcome. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. So, Alyssa, you actually moved from North Carolina um, and are a former WAG, okay? So talk about what that is. Do you miss it? Share it with our viewers today. So I think that never stops, especially because he's not out of it. He's still coaching. So I'm still juggling him, kids, mom, <laughs> and everything. So my job is not over. All season, I do miss it. Mm, so your husband played in the NFL for several years. Now he's coaching for the Jets. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. So you're juggling. You're the mom. You're you're the woman. You're the you know entrepreneur. I'm <laughs> um, so excited to learn more about your business. So I closed the door during self care. Nobody's allowed in, and mom's not coming out. So <laughs> that's my secret. Just shut the door, lock it, and just ignore yeah. it. So I started, of course, because mama, I had a baby four years ago, it's my youngest, Lily. Oh. And when I birthed her, post baby, no one tells you, hair breakage, dry skin, you know, just the changes. I think that's when you really come into your womanhood and you learn to begin, you begin to learn, excuse me, your body and the changes and how to take care of them accordingly. Because before Lily, Bath and body, I wore everything. It didn't matter if you felt good, it was going on these legs and arms. So, <laughs> you know, and after post baby, my baby, she had eczema. And then that was another battle that I wasn't used to because I didn't have to worry about what I put on my skin. I felt like I was kind of thrown to the wolves a little bit. But of course, being mama, I'm the cook, you know, that's one of the jobs I signed up for. And I just figured, like, okay, this. Cream is not working. My baby's itching. I'm a mess. I'm dry. I'm cracked. We cracked. We all cracked. So something got to happen. So I started mixing stuff in the kitchen and I came up with the recipe that I felt like this worked. It moisturized me. It moisturized her. It's a natural SPF. So that like helps with, you know, SPF in your babies down and just making sure that they're healthy, you know, on the skin. Because like I said, I didn't realize that that was a part of being healthy, you know, with the skin. You literally glow. I can't wait to try your products. I know as moms, we all feel that way. We just yeah. need the extra care. And you also have candles and soaps, which I love. You're just a chemist over there. Um, <laughs> That's can, you, right. can you show us some of your favorite products? We yes, definitely okay. want to look at those. I got them. Okay. So <laughs> first, 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 first things first, I feel like you should always wash properly, make sure your skin is clean not congested, not oily, not nothing. So this right here is the honey, the milk and honey soap bar. This is all natural, handmade. And you see it has those little stone, stone ground oats in there. So that mm. helps exfoliate your skin. 
And my four-year-old also uses this. She loves it. She has her own. So this right here, amazing. Then we have the body butter, which is like my baby. And this is like, there we go. This is amazing. It's all natural. It's only four ingredients. It's perfect for your kiddos, for you, your husband, everybody in your house. It's all around pro um, good product. Then my next go-to is a candle. All the candles are soy wax. This, I, I love it in this little nine ounce. You can travel with it also. So when I go mm -hmm. away and I go to hotel, this is amazing. So all of our candles are garnished with natural, all real natural herbs and spices, just to heighten that aromatherapy and give you a little bit of shebang in the shower. Your right, product so sounds so amazing. So amazing. And I just can't wait to try them. I um, have dry skin, so I'm like, body butter. I love that stuff. Yeah. Can you let everyone know how they can shop for these incredible products? Sure. So all of the products are available on butterdream.com and it's shipping in there. So we'll deliver it to your door two to three days tops. You will have your package. Alyssa, so good. I love your story and just your journey and that you're still able to go find success even though you're you're in a successful position, but it's still fun to go out and, and see what else is waiting in this big world when it comes to entrepreneurship. So stay with us, Texas. We will take a very quick break and be right back. Marketing for local businesses is critical, but it can be pretty confusing. At Vivio, we work with you to understand your business and individual marketing needs to tailor a custom design solution so you can focus on what you do best, running your business. Want to learn more about Vivial's digital marketing services? Find us online at vivial.net forward slash Natalie. Well, welcome back to the Connect Show, Texas. So we are, we have a treat for you today, Texas. We are wrapping up the show with a real life princess. I discovered her story on the Tamron Hall show and I was just watching in disbelief. And then now look at God, <laughs> here she is on the Connect Network TV. Please help me welcome the lovely Princess Sarah Culberson to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's good yes. to be here. What a treat, what a treat. Yes, welcome. We are so excited you're here. Besides being a princess, this story is so wild. It's so incredible and so inspirational. I am just, I know all of us are dying to know, how did you um, find out that you were a princess? Can you walk us through that process? <laughs> sure. Um, actually, it's kind of a fun process. I was doing this class. I was taking a class. I'm always about learning and always learning, always learning. My dad always says, never stop learning. So I did this yeah. class called Landmark and I was in the class and they said, tell the person next to you where you're holding back in life. And I was mm. sitting next to my friend Art and I said, you know what, Art? I am terrified to find my birth father. And he said, why? I said, well, I don't know where to begin. I did find out that my birth mother passed away of cancer when I would have been about 11. So what if he doesn't want to meet me? What if he doesn't want to talk to me? Do you, what, maybe he's not alive. And he said, listen, mm. I know a private investigator who won't charge you more than a hundred bucks and your birth father wow. is going to love you. I know, right? I thought <laughs> it's going to be thousands of dollars. <laughs> and and that's number later. I'm just exactly. kidding. Exactly. <laughs> and so, I, uh, and so they, he connected me to this private investigator, three hours, all the information I needed for 25 bucks, not even a hundred and this whole new world opened up and I got to meet, um, well, my, my aunt called first and she's so funny. She said, hello, Sarah, this is Evelyn. How are you? And I thought, is this that Jamaican woman I met the other day? Because I, right? I, I was so bad with dialects. I, I couldn't get her accent. I wasn't sure. And she said, I'm your auntie. You will see you later. And I started to bawl. I said, thank you so much for calling. I didn't know if I were would ever hear from you. I didn't know if I would ever see you. She said, Zeta, I was there when you were born. I used to take care of you when your mother would go to the grocery store. She said, hold on, hold on, let me get your uncle on the phone. And then my uncle gets on the phone and he's the one who told me. He says, oh, Sarah, we are so happy you been found. Do you know who you are? And I'm like, I'm Sarah. He says, you're part of a royal family. Your great grandfather was a paramount chief. Your grandfather, your family runs a chiefdom of now 70,000. You are, can be chief and you're a princess in this country. And I was just like, okay, 
okay. This is, ladies, this is not what I expected to hear, right? I was completely overwhelmed. <laughs> this whole beautiful world opened up that just was so wonderful. And then they contacted my father in Sierra Leone and I got to meet him and the entire tribe, which was so beautiful. So I beautiful. That. Yes. Yeah. Wow. yeah, that's was such an incredible story. Oh. Wow, it's like a fairy tale. <laughs> so I've got to ask you, you know, Wendy, I love what you said. You said that sounds, it's almost like a, a fairy tale. And, yeah. you know, I'm happy that we're talking about it. I hear you're working on an animation with Randy Jackson and a separate movie uh, for, for Disney. You're working with Roadblox. You have all of these things. And what a perfect story to bring to Disney and beyond. Um, you know, especially as a, as a little brown girl. When I was coming up, there was Cinderella, there was Snow White, there was Alice in the Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland. I loved them all. But, um, you know, I'm happy that my children get to see Black princesses. Uh, talk a little bit more about the collaborations that you have coming up. Yeah, I'd love to. So with the animation, which is completely separate from the Disney um, production, which I'll share about that as well. We we're working on really creating something that empowers kids, all kids, but specifically kids of color as well. Mm -hmm. And we've got a little young boy who's going to be the lead, who's going to make a huge difference. And he's going to learn about cultures around the world through magical journeys and also working with leaders from around the world. It's kind of interesting. So that's kind of a, like a little bit of a foreshadowing of what will happen. So it's pretty mm. awesome. It's very fun. And then the Disney movie is based on the book that I co-wrote with my writing partner, Tracy Trivis. Um, it's the book is called A Princess Found, Barnes and Noble and Amazon. If anybody yes. wants to check it out, <laughs> gotta yeah. do a little plug. So, um, but it's out there, and we sold the book to Disney, and we're turning it into a live action movie, which means real people, not animation. So it's going to be really, really fun. Sarah, thank you so much for your story, your journey, oh, just all of your beauty, your website. You have so much for us. Texas. We're going to take a quick break and be right back. I'm Emily Ahrens and I help entrepreneurs to clear the blocks that are stopping them from growing and scaling their business. Find me at emilyahrens.com forward slash masterclass. You are watching the Connect Network TV. What another amazing show this Saturday. So many incredible pieces of advice and business advice from these incredible entrepreneurs, how to level up your business. Yes, it's been such a great week. And all of you, if you are enjoying all this girl boss magic, catch all our past episodes on YouTube channel. You can binge watch them Netflix style at Natalie's Network. <laughs> and don't forget to join our membership, go to connectonline.com and join now. That's right. You guys make it a great Saturday. We'll see you right back here next week.